Happy Thursday, everyone. Well, the next system is on its way. We are starting the day a little bit like how we ended the day yesterday. Cool, mostly clear skies, a few clouds from time to time. Going to get breezier, though. Clouds will start to roll on in, and we do have some frosty conditions this morning with some areas of some denser fog. You can see that especially in parts of Josephine and parts of Douglas County, a little bit of Jackson County as well. Cloud cover moving on in, just a hint of what's to come because it's about to get very active out there. We've got rain and snow. Now, you're not seeing the green and blue associated with rain and snow out there just yet because well, we don't have a radar site out in the middle of the ocean, but this system and the system behind it and the one behind that just a number of low pressure systems putting fronts through our area, all bringing the potential for a lot of rain and some heavy snow, especially for the mountains. Now this system actually a little bit warmer than what we saw last week. Last week we had somewhat clear skies. We went from fairly warm temperatures for this time of year very quickly to very cool temperatures below averages, so a lot of the snow actually made its way further and further down the mountainside, down to around 3,000 to 3,500 feet in some areas. So we saw some snow for the foothills. This time, because there's a lot of moisture, and moisture holds on to a lot more of that heat, while we have gusty winds, heavy, wet mountain snow. We're talking 4,000 feet and above for the most part, so staying pretty high up there. But we have one low-pressure system move through, and that's tapping into a lot of moisture from the ocean right there. That'll all move through through the course of the weekend. So on top of that, we have a lot of watches warm warnings and advisories throughout our area. Winter storm warning due to heavy snow, high winds, winter weather advisory because of a decent amount of snow. That's mainly in the Klamath Basin area. You can see it right there along the highway 97. Klamath Falls involved in that. High winds as well as three to five inches of snow. High wind warnings out there as well east of the Cascades in Modoc County, parts of Siskiyou County and out on the coast. Some gusts up to 70 miles per hour possible and because of that a storm warning off of the coast itself. Probably not the greatest time to go kayaking off the beaches. So overall, we are looking at very stormy conditions. This is our first real winter storm of the season, and we're going to see a decent amount of rainfall with it. So let's go through the next couple of days late tonight into Friday morning. That's when we're seeing the main brunt of the system. Heavy snow from the mountains east of the Cascades, heavy rainfall out towards the coast, especially the Brookings area. Looks like up to four inches possible for Brookings. I'll touch on that in a second. Keep on going through Friday. Another round of rain and some heavier snow for the mountains. Actually warming up a little bit later in the day Friday, so it'll transition to more, I'd say, rainfall for areas like the Klamath Basin. This will continue through Saturday. We'll dry out a little bit Saturday and then another round of rain on the way. As we look at the total rainfall amounts, most of it starting after midnight tonight, continuing into the morning. The coast further to the north, one to two inches, the south coast two to four inches, with the West Valley seeing right around maybe an inch, but as low as about a half of an inch to an inch and a half. Heavier rain and snowfall for the mountains, of course, but that's factoring in the snow there and east of the Cascades a decent amount as well. Let's talk about the snow real quick. And you can see over those higher elevations, you do have a decent amount. We're talking six to 12 inches in some areas. Could see up to around 18 inches of snow. That's a lot of snow as you get into those higher elevations but most areas probably getting closer to around a foot as you head into those higher elevations, get away from the mountains just a bit, start to see those numbers plummet fairly quickly below 4,000 feet to areas like Medford, no snow at all. For the coast, mostly cloudy, some scattered showers, temperatures in the 50s for today. So the picture today is a whole lot different. It's late tonight into tomorrow where things really start to pick up. Partly cloudy skies for the West Valleys, some freezing fog possible this morning, and east of the Cascades, temperatures mainly in the 40s today with partly cloudy skies and some gusty winds. Your seven day forecast is very active once we get into the day on Friday. Showers later today into tomorrow. That should be scooted over just one. And then Saturday and Sunday will continue with the showers, taking a little bit of a break towards about Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, and then Wednesday, another round of showers possible. For the basin, it's a mix of rain and snow. It'll actually mainly be snow in the mornings and then later at night and then during the course of the afternoon for a few hours, transitioning to more rainfall as we head over the weekend. For Northern California, also that rain snow mix, then mainly rain as we go in through Saturday and Sunday and Monday. And out on the coast, showers later today. Winds pick up tomorrow, and that'll continue with more showers and rainfall through the weekend.